when I first saw people with visual snow, um, at that stage we still thought of it as probably a migraine variant and I really didn't know what to give people with visual snow. Quite a lot of them had tried various migraine preventives and they hadn't really worked. I advised people to try some of the supplements that had been shown in well-conducted clinical trials to be helpful in reducing migraine, so things like magnesium and vitamin B2 and coenzyme Q10. Interestingly, early on, about a quarter of the patients that took them reported to me that it seemed to have improved matters. But I still think that about 10 to 15 percent of people with visual snow will find that those supplements reduce the intensity of their symptoms. And that certainly seems to be borne out by the large-scale survey that um, Peter Goesby's group recently published. The nice thing about those supplements is that they're very safe, they're very well tolerated, they're very easy for people to get hold of. I think it's going to turn out to be the case that for a lot of people, a multifactorial approach, a rehabilitation approach, a medication approach, changes in lifestyle, that may be the way forward for people with visual snow, much as it is for many people, for example, with debilitating forms of migraine and other headache disorders.